Thanks for joining us for this quick tip on what seems a somewhat undiscovered foreflight gem. Most all of us started our flying with a sectional chart. And as we transitioned to an electronic flight bag, it was a comfort to have those maps available, even zoomable, and auto-stitched for us. The sectional chart provides a wealth of information, but might just have some major downsides. We can nicely zoom the sectional for details. But as we zoom out, the text gets smaller and eventually too small to read. I'm mostly a north up kind of guy, but occasionally I want to track up view. And that's fine until we zoom in and find the text is upside down. One final downside of the sectional. It's way too cluttered for en route. And tell me, where's Palo Alto in this complex airspace? Enter the aeronautical map. First and foremost, we need to turn off the sectional and then select the aeronautical. Wow, that's cleaner. And there's Palo Alto. The en route is even readable. We zoom in, we see more. We zoom out, we see less. How about track up? And complex airspace. Pretty cool. It gets even better with auto highlight. We're VFR today and would like to navigate the Bravo to San Carlos. At the top, press the gear for map settings, airspace, and toggle on auto highlight. For our planned or current altitude, those Bravo shelves that are nearby our route laterally and vertically are now highlighted. How about if we skirt a bit to the southeast? You guessed it, the highlights update. Likewise, let's plan our descent to avoid the Palo Alto Delta. As we would expect, pretty much everything we see on the aeronautical map can be tapped on for more info. And there's more. The aeronautical map on the left has a submenu, for example, for the display of airways to get MEAs without bringing up the IFR layer. Or to toggle on and off airports airspace, center frequencies, terrain, and highways. Personally, for these reasons, I now fly 95% of the time with the aeronautical map, occasionally showing the sectional maybe to find the name of a nearby lake or river. If you have either the ForeFlight Pro or ForeFlight Performance subscriptions, the goodies continue into the profile view, displaying terrain and airspace that's zoomable, 
and selectable for details. I hope you found this quick tip useful. Please add any comments or questions below, subscribe, and click the bell for notification of future videos. Thanks.